So we got some numbers, some figures. Uh, I'm not. Uh, yeah, please. And I wrote down some words uh, like uh, I seen that was so important. We talked a lot about building, uh, what that meant: a large building, a small building, an old building. Um, we talked a lot about production, how important it is to 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 be able to make big productions and to help and support artists to do big productions, and um, which I think also as well for myself, it's from my experience, is very important that an institution can provide production both knowledge and money. But also there is this what ended up the last session, this connection to the contemporary art world. So I want you to if you have some comments to, to elaborate these things a little bit more, especially about the connection to the art world. Why is it so important to run a place that is devoted to sound art? And what kind of knowledge is unique? And uh, what makes it so problematic for contemporary, generally contemporary art ex institutions to take on uh, sound art pieces? Because we all know uh, examples of mistakes and and such things. So if someone of you in the panel has to <laughs> want to start, may? Um, maybe it has to do with, I hate when the focus is on technology, but mm. a lot of art has, or sound art has a certain setup or installation or certain conditions which are hard to maintain. And that kind of makes it hard for other institutions to want to take it on, um, which is why it's nice to have a space where it can exist on its own terms. I think that's a very basic answer. But I just wanted to add something about all these institutions we're talking about and all this investment. And there's something about the people in, in these institutions. And it's one of the areas where the biggest challenge is. There's not enough funding for permanent positions. So a lot of people are hired in on an hourly basis. And there's a lot of knowledge which is lost. A lot of young people working there who are being trained and then move on um, or go into the academic sphere. Or But there are very few that can exist in that production environment and space and institutions. So if anyone's thinking about funding, it's really the next the next stage is what we're working on and it's what we're trying to convince both the Arts Council and the Bergen Local Council is to fund more development of resources and in people. So they're starting a mentorship program for producers and they're also funding a new co-shared producer within our organization and with another organization. So that's kind of... Yeah, what we're working on a bit. Yeah, that's good. Karsten? Yeah, I think um, what I exp tried to explain before is a kind of opposite direction. Because um, I was also the director of the Tesla Media Art Lab in Berlin for a couple of months, 27 months, I guess. And okay, we had a bit more money, but uh, in general, I think this time is over. That's why also the idea to close the gallery, not only because the funding went down, so because you always find somewhere some money, but mainly because I think it's important now to going into the institutions, in the normal institutions. And when you looking even in Sweden to Eastart, for example, where I've been um, f uh, formerly a director who produced and show a lot of sound exhibitions, I know, it, so I never been there. So, but. I know that there are some places, and also the Lit Gallery it is also more like a part of a community or the house is not any, anymore the Lit Gallery. It, it, it was a starting point from Jürgen, you know, but... Uh, the Lit Gallery has kind of disappeared, which yeah, is yeah, also right. a challenge we yeah. work with. People go, where is the gallery? And we say, well, we're not really gallery anymore. <laughs> so it's, we're more of a resource and production yeah, and, space. And the, the laboral thing, as we know all, all from this time, 2007, was a great time in Spain, but then comes a big blob. It's, it's been really, really tough. But yeah, when yeah. you mentioned that it's uh, working with technology is tough, uh, talking about sound, we're a uh, technology-based uh, institution, art, science, and technology. Uh, what has become really difficult for us is to be able to produce um, large exhibitions as uh, like, uh, you know, and that is really difficult to maintain. For us, now, um, producing in a smaller scale, like uh, we've talked about now, is much easier. Though, uh, yeah, it becomes uh, difficult, difficult at uh, a certain uh, moment, but, uh, well, 
and um, I don't I, I don't know um, Dali. I, I have to say uh, for I think for for laboral, it's easier to work with sound. I, th right? I think it, I, I find it more sustainable because it's also it depends on on the installation uh, kind of uh, or the format you work with. But uh, for us, and that's one thing that uh, I um, I find really um, interesting is that when we made our proposal for the European Union, the fact that we were working with sound and visuals was uh, something that was really taken into into good consideration. Because uh, working with art in general, with visual arts, at times it gets more and more expensive and, and not so easy to maintain either. So um, uh, for us, it's, well, it, I think it's uh, kind of, um, yeah, I, I find it, uh, of course, we cannot go for, uh, you've seen the figures, we cannot go for huge productions, uh, but we can produce a piece uh, by Nicolas Bernier, for example, with uh, an artist who is, uh, um, I wouldn't be able to say mid-career, but he has the prize, uh, the Ars Electronica prize, and this guy is everywhere at the moment, and we were able to produce a prototype. We, the little Laboral, was able to produce that with 3,500 3, euros, and that was doubled by the Conseil des Actes de Lettres de Quebec, And, and with that, we were able to prototype something, and now it's uh, touring. So I think, um, of course, you need the knowledge, you need the technicians. We had uh, Danny at the Sound Lab. We do also have other people in our technical team. We have a, a technical manager, we have a, an assistant to the technical manager, we have two people in the Fab Lab. And in all these people, they work together towards one project because uh, every single project emerges from the same institution. So um, I think it's, I don't know, I, um, I think it sound, uh, um, I think that sound is sustainable, as a summary. Uh, I would like to say that we made some mistakes with, yeah. with this. We, we tend to think that to work with sound is cheap, because you say, okay, it's sound only, uh, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> with 1,000 euros can do everything, but <laughs> then, then it's, it's not true. This guy then work 100 panels of acoustic, whatever, or want 20 speakers and want, I don't know. So, well, or, or you we, realize we, that he, yes, needs, yes. He, he needs support for that yes, and, and it yes. would make a... Because I, I must say thing. also that the, the, the numbers of the figures you gave are extremely low. I mm -hmm. must say, to, to my okay. experience, and the 20,000 euros you mentioned, Karsten, sounds okay. more familiar to me for art production. Okay. I think that's good to hold in mind, uh, really. So, um, I think it's good to make a little bit smaller cookies, maybe, again. But okay, in your, in your place, it's unbelievable. This structure is... I want to, to ask an artist to bomb the whole building. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's a kind of... Uh, it was an idea, 2007, when Spain thinking, They are the, 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 the kings, the, the kings of the world. You know, the, you can even take the whole thing down and go to the four empty airports, the, the completely finished airports in Spain, which you can use all the than art. Yes. is great. And when you see the structure, the architecture have no idea even about media art. So you're always thinking in this kind of oh technology, you know, like oh how we can fix this fucked up nice people from Yamaha and you know like you know, Microsoft or Apple. I like when the Apple Watch came in your uh, presentation by chance, you know, because they find even nicer ways to going to the public because they have they hundreds the of marketing people, you know, and you taking it out of your blood, you know. So this is the kind of thing what makes me always more more sleepy in a way, because I think it's good to invest in, like, I went to Asia, you know, like, or to, to Latin America, where you're even going in normal art institutions, and then thinking back, about the conference, that's why I said it was Easter. Here are people, it's always depending on people and institutions. It's not, so, uh, you know, you can get everywhere as a specialist, you know, how, who knows how a space works, the sound works. You can ask Matt, so you can produce a big composition for 24 hours in a studio when you want. Maybe you have to pay a little bit for it, but you can mm. find fundings in, in some no, it's places. Free. It's even free, <laughs> it's free. but uh, without funding, you also have to close your space and, yeah. you know, like. Uh, so, but I think this is more important because I think we're looking in this uh, kind of 
art world, and this is a media art world. This is not the art world. This is a completely other thing. Yeah. You know, you are not connected with it. Because they're very different budgets on visual art projects. I think our productions run between five to 10,000 euros mm -hmm. per production. Mm -hmm. But they're, I mean, we have the equipment in the house, but it, it's more about mm -hmm. discussions and publications and the time we spend in residencies. And, and process. A, a yeah. completely different approach to mm -hmm. it today, mm -hmm. which is why we need these spaces to try things out. Um, but we did the same thing at Tesla, so I, because I cannot, uh, I cannot think in the sound art direction in this field. So, mm -hmm. But I can tell you what we did. We have the budget, we have a lot of presentation money, but when we want to invite the Wooster group, already half of the budget is done, 250,000 for a new show. Fuck up, it's not yeah. working. <laughs> no. So we had a place where we can play with, not so big like yours, and then we spent 30% of the money in the residencies. That mm -hmm. means we're giving out and then we're making a lot of open studios, but this is a place in the middle of the city, not mm -hmm. like uh, mm -hmm. Laboral in the middle of nowhere, you know? Yeah. And this is sure. all a little bit contradictional to art artistic practice, only maybe to long-time residencies when you're giving yeah. people the chance to yeah. destroy the construction or to make a big thing in a 2,000 square meter place. Take note. Great. <laughs> you know, we need to do that. Yeah. Next open call. Yeah. Deconstruct the space. <laughs> Why not? So <laughs> but, uh, Laboral being big, being being really big, it's it's a problem for laboral yeah. because there's no it's money to to uh, to fill every every wall or every space. It's not possible. Uh, I should just read fourteen thousand square meters is is, is the size. Yeah. And it's a, but but I would say is there is is there anybody in the audience that want to add something? Um, we still have some minutes to go. No questions or comments. Always yeah. good to go around <laughs> the world. Yeah, so I, I so feel it's really... It's not so far. No, I know. <laughs> so I feel really Europe inspired. Europe-wise, so. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's really nice to hear that there are, like, things happening and, or, or been happening for a while, actually. Right? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I, I think I should comment on that, because that's what I know that I took down that... that what was said earlier that uh, you have to travel and you have to see and, and listen and you have to see all kinds of different projects, different places and uh, I think that's something we learned today. Uh, there's one thing more I would like to, to come back to because um, we've discussed the building and the site quite a lot and, and the church and, and this big building and now we're going to, to tonight we're going to, to, to Harp Lab which is a very special building, a special site uh, um, which I'm looking for tremendously. Um, so, is there anything more you want to add around taking on a certain building, like a old building, and, and taking advantage of that situation, even if it's tricky? I think the main goal is really give some, uh, not uh, unlimited money, because I think limitations are always good. Mm -hmm. It's also like an education or whatever, but um, give some money in the production and an artist will do something and you find your space. And sometimes you have this really nice design spaces, but uh, also sometimes it's not necessary to have it. Yeah. Be very careful if you go into space. You, you mm -hmm. really need to know why you're having the space. And mm -hmm. I mean, the space challenges us as much as it's helpful. But, but that's interesting and that's why we like working with it. Mm. Um, mm. Say something. Oh, that's space. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> You're still researching. <laughs> yes. Uh, space, well, it's uh, one of the, our first concerns uh, to the Sound Lab of Laboral, just well, because we are in a really big space with really big rooms uh, or really small rooms, too. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we, uh, I think I, we don't really care about the space anymore. We have a headquarter. And we just, uh, if we can find another at the at the art center that is better or suits, or we just go there, or we go downtown, or we go to whatever. Uh, it depends. Radio. Yes. Radio. <laughs> okay. I it t tomorrow. I think we continue that um, connection to heritage and and to space and the site specific in the last session, uh, and also when we listen to. Uh, Susan Phillips and her experience working with these things. Um, we have, um, I think we should, should uh, end up now because I know 
The technician is closing in five minutes. He needs to go to the next thing. Okay. Uh, so thank you, everybody. It's been a fantastic day, and it will continue. <laughs>